What's up guys, Travis here. Welcome back to yet another one minute tutorial. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your audio sound a lot more better, even though you are just using a cheap microphone. So without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Audition and let's start this tutorial. Okay, so once you're in Adobe Audition, all you need to do is to drag in the audio clip that you want to edit. In my case, I do not have any sample clip, so I'm going to record directly into Adobe Audition. To create a new audio file, select the plus sign over here and select new audio file, or you can hit Ctrl Shift N on your keyboard to open up a new audio file. Now I'm going to name this as sample and hit OK. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. Okay, so I have my sample clip over here ready and as you can see, the volume is a little bit too low, it's at around minus 15 dB. What our goal over here is to stretch out the wave point to minus 3, so everything is loud and clear. Hit the Ctrl Shift A to select the whole audio file and let's go to Effects, under Amplitude and Compression, go to Normalize Process. Now we're going to select dB over here and minus 3. Hit apply once you are done. And now as you can see, the peak of the audio file is now stretched to minus three. So what we are going to do over here is to trim off the peak. So let's go to effects again under amplitude and compression and hit the hard limiter. Now we are going to hard limit it at nine dB, sorry, minus nine dB because that's where the average um, waveform is. So select minus nine dB and hit okay. As you can see, now the peaks are now trimmed off. So once again, we're going to normalize the waveform to minus 3 dB. So again, go to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Normalize. Make sure that you are set to minus 3 dB. As you can see now, the average volume is at around minus 6 dB, which is good enough to capture the noise point. So now let's hear what we have edited. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. As you can hear, there's a lot of background noise. So what we're going to do to remove it is to select an area without vocal. And we are going to capture the noise print. To capture the noise print, go to effects, noise reduction and restoration, capture noise print. Or you can hit the shift P on your keyboard to capture the noise print. Once you have captured the noise print, let's go back to noise reduction and restoration and select the noise reduction process. Now I recommend you guys to use a headphone or earphone to do this step because you need to hear how much that you're going to reduce your background noise. So it really depends on your environment. But in this video, I'll show you how I reduce the background noise using this tool. Just some minor tweakings over here and you don't want to increase your noise reduction all the way up to 100% because it will cause a audio artifact into your vocals. Once you have satisfied with your settings, don't hit apply yet. You need to deselect the area that you select just now because if you did not do this process, you will just denoise the area that you have selected only. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. So as you can see, the noise in our audio wave is now being reduced. Okay, so the last step I'm going to do over here is to increase the bass and the treble. Now let's go to the effects rack and select the little arrow on the right side and under filter and EQ, select parametric equalizer. Okay, so in the preset, we're going to select the loudness maximizer. Once the loudness maximizer has been selected, you will see two points. One is the low, which is control the bass and one is the H, which is control the treble or the high frequency. So let's increase the low point just a little bit and as well as the high points. Sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. I'm going to decrease the dB by 2 on the master gain area because the audio clip is a little bit clipping. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. Now I'm going to set a second point into the graph to control the midpoints. What I'm going to do over here is to drag down just a little bit to make my vocals clearer. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. Once you are happy with your settings, just click close and hit the apply over here as now you can see the waveform has been changed. 
Now because there's a few picks that's over minus 3 dB, what I'm going to do over here is to hard limit it to minus 3 dB. Hit apply and that's it. Now let's hear the before. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. Now let's hear the after. This is a sample clip that I'm going to edit in Adobe Audition. Okay, so that's it for me today. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you love my content. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.